Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Orly Sweet Peacock and I'm going to stamp over it with some gold. I started off with Neltique's Formula 2 as my base coat. I'm going to dab that on there. Actually we're going to brush it on there nicely. <laughs> I'm also going to apply a coat of the American Classics Yellow Stopper. I wasn't quite sure how this polish was going to do as far as staining, so I decided, well, I have it, might as well try it. And here is Orly, Sweet Peacock, and this is just crazy pretty. I love, love this color. And I'm going to cap my end first. I've noticed on these foil polishes I need to do that for me. And I'm sorry I'm out of frame going in with this first coat. So we're going to go in with the second coat in frame and it's a very nice polish. It's got a really good formula. I'm really, really in love with this one. Um, one of my subscribers, and I'll post her here on the screen somewhere, had mentioned that this was one of Phoebe Moon's or maybe Phoebe Moon's top blue polish. So if Phoebe likes it, I like it. I'm going to top this off with some pure ice, Girl on the Run. Get it to dry down so we can do some stamping. I just love, love, love this beautiful blue. It's just, oh, and I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, what I was going to add to it because it was just so pretty all by itself. And here is a photo of it all on its own. I may be using this Polynesian BM plate. I will list it hopefully down below too. I'm going to be using my monocle stamper and my Faber nail scraper along with the Born Pretty Gold nail polish. There we go. Get it together, girl. And I'm just going to stamp this image on four of my nails. I'm going to do it on my thumb, pointer, middle, and pinky. And I thought this one was pretty. It was a pretty design. I don't know that I've used this plate a whole lot, so I wanted to break it out and show it some love. And I'm cleaning off my plate in between using uh, my cotton ball and cotton claw and acetone. And I have shortened my nails on my right hand. Um, that's my dominant hand. I've been really busy at work and I didn't want to run the risk of breaking anything. So I went ahead and shortened them. And here's what I'm putting on my accent finger. It's the image right next to the one I've been using. And when I got done, I was like, eh, eh whatever. Wasn't, wasn't super crazy. I mean, I think it's because my nails are so short that I didn't get enough of the image in but that's okay. It still all works. <laughs> and we're going to put this one on my pinky. And I'm going to go through real quick with some tape and do a little bit of cleanup. I'm not getting real serious about it. Just kind of doing a once over. Let me get some of it up. And you'll notice my thumb is naked on the other hand, and that is because I had an um, incident with my deep freezer, and I'm, I had been working on a patch, so it's not going to have paint on it today in this video. And I am going around with a little bit of my Zoya remover and my cleanup brush just to get the rest of that gold off real quick. go. We are about done. Done with the cleanup. But I really did end up liking this one and I hope you like it too. I'm going to top it off with some pure ice girl on the run. 
And then we're going to call this manicure done. I will have a still photo at the end. And I'm going to go ahead and finish talking and let's just watch the rest of it. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.